Ho ho, and welcome once again to the 21st day of Advent of Cyber. I'm so happy that we got this far, and I'm also really happy that it's soon Christmas because we are looking forward to doing some funky Christmas stuff this year. Alright, so this is a really interesting room, and I just solved all of this. And the thing here is, uh, I need to understand how the communication works. You know, if you read all the text in the style, I kind of think you should do that because it's gonna s save my time a bit. I prepared everything you need to do here, but what you kind of need to do is to look at this image here. I can take the one below. The basic idea is a publisher sends the message to a broker. Now you can call the broker, you can call the man in the middle, I don't really care. Um, the broker continues relaying the message until the new message is published. So basically it's just me giving my stuff to another guy and that, guy's, that guy will then share with the third guy, right? So just basic sharing, like you can call it. A subscriber can attempt to connect to a broker to receive a message. And by using basic software and stuff, this can be possible. Now, there are some issues that I wanna talk about. You know, if you go down here below, you are tasked to use something called Mosquito Sub, Mosquito Pop. You also need to download a Docker container or actually get Docker to work. And I kind of found that, you know, my own machine Linux Kaylee running, you know, here in the background, as you can also see right here, didn't quite cut it. So I kind of just said, okay, so I have the attack box. So I went boot up the attack box and I used that for the rest of the tutorial. There's a step-by-step -step guide here. The very first one is to verify that you can actually uh, scan that with the nmap. And the nmap scans, you know, it's, straightforward, we've already been there in other rooms, not really gonna talk too much about it, but scan, nmap, remember to do full port, version scan, all that good stuff. So you're gonna use the one called Muslim Mosquito Sub, that tool, and you do it to the device in it, you will enumerate the actual device ID, which is important to you. I think nmap also is gonna give it to you, but this is another way of getting it. Whenever you start this relay server or the IS, RTSP, difficult to say RTSP, <laughs> it's a simple Docker container. You can download it. You know, I, I just booted up the, you know, the attack box as you can see here, and it just went pretty straightforward. Everything was installed already and I don't really care much about it. The mosquito pop is uh, the command you're gonna use to publish the payload, and you can read about that uh, here, for example, the web camera device behavior, and it talks about the expected format would be that. You Note know, the format quite doesn't match, blah, 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 and the command value will write redirect RTSP, difficult to say still, is 10. So that is actually the value you need to set there. URL and the value, uh, we're gonna get back to that. The URL value should be uh, the ETH. Uh, I guess for you, Ton Serum, maybe um, your own um, interface. And the path is something you choose. You know, it's something you just write whatever you like. I wrote tests, as you can see here. You know, it just, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can write hooga booga, I don't really care. It's up to you, really. And then um, you're gonna recall the URL. Um, must use the attack box IP address to respective interface address. If you're using the VPN, that's gonna be that path. And if the mesh is correct, you will see some stream going on. So basically, the Docker server is um, collecting the stream in a video for you. Uh, and you can use VLC to see the video as a stream. And getting the flag here down below is as simple as you can get the device ID by running mosquito sub, that's H for the host, the IP address and device in it as we just talked about. 
I'm gonna get this specific uh, ID there. I think it's also given when you do a map scan. I I just I did a map scan to start, but I didn't pay attention to it. I think it is there. When you're then gonna send the actual payload, uh, as you can see here, um, it does. I don't think it actually shows, but you can also see the. And that actually, if you want to see that, this is also the code on the. Um, and the device, you can see stuff like uh, the UL, uh, sorry, the command, the UL, the payload, and the UL payload, which are the things that you will put in uh, here, as you can see. So, what you're then going to do is to start up the Docker container, you already have it here started. You can see Docker run. I, I basically just, you know, it is as simple as, 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 as it is copy paste the line, run it. The reason why I'm having a lot of packages here is because I have actually ran this before and you do that by sending the actual payload and you do it by pressing enter and when you've done that and it says nothing, it basically, I don't should do it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So it's a session destroyed, opening a new one, I guess, I hope so. <laughs> then um, you can run the VLC on the RS RTSP, sorry, <laughs> um, protocol, and then on your own machine, and you can see down here you're getting packages, and then remember the port number, which is the the port number that's gonna be displayed whenever you start up the actual Docker container, which is that one, the outside port. Then it's basically just running that VLC, you get up a video like that, and you can see that the flag is here, and this is the video, bring broadcasters over and over again. Now, depending on which kind of um, videos the other guy is sending, so let's just go up to the diagram again. The, 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 well, whoever it is, like, let's say this person here is sending something special. Well, then basically you can see those videos I know this is quite scary, but this is actually one way of doing it. Um, so in order to keep these videos low, not too long, I know the original, you know, publisher of this video, um, Al, he got a, a, a bit more in-depth, thorough explanation. I definitely think you should go ahead and watch that too. Uh, Today, in this video, I just show you how to do it. I talk about the general idea, the commands, how to intercept, in interpret, I guess, how to run them and get the result. And, and basically, I hope that that's, it could help you a bit more to, to, to fiddle all the pieces together. So, hacking webcams, you know, redirecting streams. Well, not redirecting, but getting streams to your machine intercepted by Docker, Docker server. And then you can read it. Well, that's really what it is. And you know what I have to say now is. <laughs>